How British PPL tried to convince me that they're not racist. Normal white people have to listen to this constant disrespect from the minority of unhappy ethnics. Let's talk about how comfortable these males are at being bigoted and misogynistic and how they act like the victim when they are being held accountable. In case you missed it, this man wrote an absolutely disgraceful article about Meghan Markle this weekend, and I'm just going to read a little part of it just to let you know what he said. I hate her. I hate her on a cellular level. I'm dreaming of the day when she's made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain while crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. I'm sorry, but what exactly has Meghan Markle done that this person is lying awake at night visualizing that she is unclothed on the streets of Britain and people are throwing literal poo at her? And now when he's called out by many people, including his own daughter, he's going to act all innocent and contrite as if he had no idea what he was doing. Oh dear, in a column I wrote about Meghan, I made a clumsy reference to a scene in Game of Thrones and this has gone down badly with a great many people. I'm horrified to have caused so much hurt and I shall be more careful in future. So the first thing he's doing in his non-apology is minimizing what he has done. He's talking about, oh, I just put my foot in my mouth. And then he's saying, oh, it was just a clumsy reference to something from Game of Thrones. Where in the literal article, he said, I hate her on a cellular level. But now he's trying to downplay what he did. So where is this energy for Prince Andrew? And why is no one writing any articles about their hatred for him? Why is no one calling for people to throw poo at him as he parades unclothed down the street, whose name is wrapped up in the Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell saga? A man who, instead of going to court so that the allegations against him can be unraveled, chose to settle for close to $16 million the truth is that these people band together. They band together to support each other in wrongdoing and they band together to disparage people who they see as unfit to belong in their circles. And even though his name is on the article, let's not lose sight of the fact that an editor looked at it and then a newspaper decided to publish it. And afterwards, the Queen Consort, Meghan's stepmother-in-law, invited him to her party the next day. I'm not surprised by this comment because the U.S. is so loud and proud with its racism that it has allowed other countries like the U.K. to hide its bigotry under the radar and call it by any other name than what it is. So y'all try to distract us by saying Megan is acting entitled or that she complains too much. In fact, waving any other flag because you don't want us to pay attention to the blatant racism that she's facing in the U.K. But I'll bite and say one of the reasons she's so disliked is because she dares to speak and air the dirty laundry. The elite class doesn't take kindly to people who they consider to be beneath them speaking up and speaking out against injustices carried out by the upper class. So what Jeremy Clarkson and other Brits like him have an issue with is that the perfect image of the royal family is being solid abroad. In fact, as this article put it, concerned radio listeners and TV pundits in the UK think that Meghan is making a fuss and that she should just accept her lot in life because many people have it much worse in these difficult times. What I think is that many of the UK's elites are fearful that the monarchy is losing its touch, especially since recent polls suggest that younger Brits consider the monarchy irrelevant and would like to see it abolished. But anyway, Clarkson's friends in high places are all over the airwaves in the UK defending the actions of a man who fantasizes about throwing literal shit at a mixed race woman who married into the royal family. You're right, Diana, and I apologize. In fact, I did go looking for some examples of this multicolored society that you're referring to. Is this a good example of the unity that you're referring to? 
Or how about this one? This one looks like a much better example of the unity that exists in the UK. Oh wait, no, this is much more recent. Um, this unity is much more recent. I can see it now. Huh, yeah, this looks, yeah, definitely, I can see it. I can see it. How about the police? No, no issues there, are they? Mm, I didn't think so. Yeah, it seems like everything's swell over there. Keep it up. I see no division whatsoever. Good on you. Normal white people have to listen to this constant disrespect from the minority of unhappy ethnics. If UK so bad, why do so many want to live here? Just to complain. Britain has a colored PM, a colored Muslim mayor, majority of government colored. If you have black friends or a black partner, I think it's impossible to be a racist person. There are more Chinese than colored folk, but you don't hear them whining about racism. Why is it always black women all the time on TikTok? Stupid woman. We paid for the slaves to be freed. We haven't stopped slavery because as much as we tried, you black people still do it. If Britain is so bad, feel free to leave. And my personal favorite. Was you ever a slave? If not, mind your business.